Okay, so I'm just doing a <clears throat> quick little review on this uh, Yorkville LP304 light stand. I have the uh, the uh, controller that goes with it here. It's uh, LP608. Um, this is a very, very, very good light setup. Um, can't say enough about it, <clears throat> especially if you're just like, you know, a wedding band or, you know, anything really. Um, I'd recommend this to like small bands to uh, you could you could, to uh, larger venues. Even this would just uh, work really well. It has these uh, little lag nuts. There are these little bolts at the bottom. I have got the kit that that uh, it's just sort of an eye bolt that screws on here and then has some um, cabling that comes down that you can hang it upside down from the ceiling <clears throat> uh, in a permanent setup. Um, so as you can see one of the bulbs is burned out but I've ordered two off of Amazon cheap Chinese replacement bulb we'll see how that works out these are good uh, general electric bulbs but they are very pretty pricey to get the uh, general electric bulbs I'll see how the cheap Chinese ones work out and maybe make a review on that um, so I'm just going to go through a little bit of functionality. It's this is a very very simple uh, simple lighting setup to use. So I've got four lights, but as you can see there on the controller, there are um, uh, knobs for eight lights. So and the reason for that is you can control two of these LP304s with this one controller. And then you can also, um, there's also a daisy chain output here. So you can chain um, multiple uh, dimmer bars uh, together using this, the same controller. You can actually plug in up to 10, 10, uh, 10 of these, uh, daisy chain about 10 of these. Uh, and, con and control them with this one one controller. Um, so that's that's awesome. Um, also, I should point out that uh, Yorkville is great because they uh, this cable that connects here is well, it's kind of broken a little bit, but uh, that's a standard XLR cable. And I know there's a lot of debate about XLR cables and DMX cables. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what the uh, protocol that they're using here is uh, if it's DMX or if it's their own proprietary sort of digital signal that controls this dimmer bar but they specifically say in their manual that you can use a regular XLR cable which is uh, really really nice um, this looks like a foot controller but it's and it is but it's also a hand controller so I can control I'm barely touching these so uh, there that all of these buttons are also capacitive too um, there's two modes there's the effect mode and the scene mode effects mode uh, works with uh, well there's there's two effects here channel chase and scene chase which are automatic and the rate is controlled here um, and then the rest of the four effects there are six in total uh, color or organ scene chase random flash and long sequence those are all controlled via audio so you can uh, right here there is a an audio in line or speaker so what's great about this output or input is that you can put a anything from 0 0.77 volts all the way up to a hundred volt uh, input into that uh, audio in so you know you can take it right out of the back of a speaker or you can you take it out of you know your mixer whatever you take from anywhere and this controller is going to automatically adjust the uh, the uh, the input level it's just a beautiful design really really straightforward and then it also has you can also control this um, 
via MIDI. And so I think this is, I'm not sure what this, I, I don't know a whole lot about the MIDI functionality, but but anyways, uh, so yeah, here's where you can control uh, the lamps. So I've just got one to four plugged in right now, and I can plug in another bank five to eight, and then you could also daisy chain off those banks. So in scene mode, uh, if I go back to scene mode, I have, uh, you can hear the, I'm changing. I can adjust each scene. I might, I might uh, mount the camera on a little stand for this and show how this works. Just give me a sec. Okay, so I'm going to try and demonstrate how this works here. Um, okay, just give me a second. Uh, So, I'll try to hold up this. Okay. So this is this is the controller right here. Okay, and there. So I'm on scene one right now. I go scene one, and because this is reversed, the controller is actually supposed to be controlling from behind the light. It's kind of a mirror image, but uh, this. Ooh, I accidentally changed the scene there because you see it's touch sensitive. Um, so yeah, the these these two here are actually the end lamps, but you can control the brightness of each of them. I can't control that one there because it's burned out. But uh, anyhow, oh, it's uh, camera's having a hard time with that. I think. There we go. Anyway, anyhow, I'll just make it so that the that it's not too bright. So you can see what's going on there. This is kind of heavy. So if I go scene two, see it? You can go between the scenes like so, and it just remembers where you put everything. So let's say I go to scene six, which was pretty bright. I can, I can, I can dim that down, and then it just remembers that that's the way you want scene six to be. So when you go back to scene six, it just automatically resets it. There's no enter button or anything like that. There's a two AA batteries in this foot controller, and there's a little chip in here. It's just it's a simple chip. It just remembers where you've put all of these settings. And obviously, I don't have any gels for these. Um, I'm working on getting the gels. Um, and then this here is a blackout. So anytime you want to just, so you could switch between these scenes. And then you can also use the blackout at any time. So super, super straightforward. Super straightforward. And um, the light is very high quality, really nice out of these PAR56 bulbs. It's way better than LED. Um, I just This is such an easy and uh, user-friendly kind of a, a lighting setup. So I'd highly recommend picking up one of these things and staying away from the overpriced and lackluster just the LED game is just overpriced and um, they're not very nice light. They just don't do a good job. So, but anyways, if you see one of these uh, LP, Yorkville LP304 lighting setups or LP608, then uh, I'd highly recommend picking them up. Um, and if you have one for sale, let me know because I'll, I'll buy it from you. Anyways, have a good day.